Hello, so we are back. But this time, let's do a video modifying a cheap power supply. You know what uh, is getting me angry? Actually, manufacturers cutting corners. Now, th this is indeed probably is the most, is probably is the cheapest power supply you can buy. I think it's around 100, 120, something like that. Nevada, 30 amps, uh, 1.5 up to 15 volts, and you can adjust the, the voltage. Now, this 30 amps, and I know it's a version 40 amps, which is a little bit more expensive. But anyway, for my ICOM 7300, this is perfect. Okay? So, it's a cheap one. Now, inside... Inside, okay, the transformer is, is, is perfect. You know, they cannot cut corners when it's about transformers. Yeah, it's a, it's a linear power supply. The capacitors you have there around 30,000 uh, micro. Which is good, you know, the radio has no no uh, noise, like uh, 50 Hz noise. Now, the problem is the heatsink. So there is where the manufacturer cut corners. What do you think he did? He put a small heatsink and a fan. And that fan is spinning like crazy. And you know how it's spinning. Because if it will spin constantly, um, it will be fine, you know. But no, it's on off and you have here, just ignore my thingy, yeah, just ignore it. I will speak about that later. You have a mechanical thing there. It's a mechanical switch there and it's switching the fan on and off. Now this fan is a 12 volts fan and, and when probably the heat sink is reaching around 60 or 70 degrees, this fan is spinning at full speed. I mean, I'm on my room, and when the fan is starting, I'm, I, I'm getting scared, you know, it's insane. So the only downside of this power supply, which is a cheap one, like, I will say it one more time, is the noise. Now, even if you replace the fan with a silent one, it will be the same thing. Now, the issue with the power supply is everything is getting hot inside. I mean, when the fan is, uh, when this switch is off, the fan is not spinning at all, yeah? So everything here is getting hot, including the transformer. And on the transformer, you don't have a sensor. You have only on heatsink. You have the rectifier bridge here, it's still on the same heatsink. So uh, this is getting mad hot. When it's getting mad hot, the fan starts spinning at full. And the fan, it will stop probably when everything will be cooled down on some temperature. Now, that's an issue with the electronics, yeah? Like cold, hot, cold, hot. So these things is killing actually the components, yeah? Not the fact that the, the, the components are running for years, no. Same like with TVs, you know? Cold, hot, cold, hot, that's not good for electronics. Now, the modification is very simple. So if you, if you, if you have a, a slow airflow there, then nothing, it will get hard there. Probably the fan, it will not even start. So that's the idea, and it's very simple. I mean, it's one transistor, yeah, one transistor here. Let me see how can I focus. One transistor and one adjustable resistor, yeah, a potentiometer or however you want to call it. That's all what you need, you can believe in one wire. That's all what you need. And now if I plug it, so now it's plugged in. Well, probably like 12 volts there. Look at the fan. Let me see if, can, if I can make it to hear the fan. So you see the fan spinning, you can see it. You can hear the fan. Maybe here on the output? Probably not. Probably you can't hear. So you can see the fan is spinning. I mean, I can't see the sun is so... Uh, yeah, you can see it. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can see it now. 
Okay, so the fan is spinning. Okay. Well, let me put back my microphone. Okay. So the fan is spinning. Now, not only is spinning slowly, but I can't even hear the, the fan. I mean, it's silent. And also, I can adjust from here. I can adjust the fan. Uh, on this side. So now the fan is spinning faster. Let me see. If Here. Okay. Good. And now I can turn the potentiometer and I can even stop it. Like I can make it spin very slow. You see, now it stopped. You can see the fan. Now it stopped. Now the fan stopped. So I can easily adjust the fan speed however I want and it's very simple all you have to do yeah all you have to do is to get a NPN transistor like this one yeah this one NPN transistor an adjustable 4.7 kilo ohms resistor that's all now I put everything on this sensor so here this pin from here yeah this pin okay this is the emitter of the transistor the middle one which is going on the other side of the sensor is the collector and this one is the base the base is connected exactly on the middle of this adjustable resistor now the other sides of the adjustable resistors one is connected to plus, to input of this uh, mechanical switch, thermal switch. And this one is connected to minus on the rectifier bridge. Okay? That's all what you have to do. And you have a adjustable fan. Of course, if the temperature... Let me get a screwdriver one second. If the temperature, let's say, the heat sink is getting too hot, what, uh, what the sensor it will do, it will short this transistor, like that. And the fan is spinning now at full. Okay? So even, let's say, this modification is getting wrong somehow. What is getting wrong is, is what is getting can get wrong is shorting this transistor. But even if you this is short, the fan is spinning at full speed. So, uh, I mean, it's nothing dangerous on this modification. Okay, that's all. Now this transistor, I don't even know what transistor it is. Probably I, uh, I have a from some audio amplifier, but. It probably you can fit any NPN transistor. I mean a solid one. If you buy a solid one, um, it will not get hot like this one. This one is just a little bit warm. But nothing major. Okay? So that's all about this power supply. So now the fan is spinning slowly and probably it will cool down uh, even the transformer because the transformer I mean, the fan is spinning. Okay, the heat sink is getting cooled down. The fan is stopped, but the transformer is still burning hot. Okay, but on this configuration, uh, having a constant airflow, it will cool down everything from this power supply. Okay. Otherwise. I can't say nothing wrong about this power supply. It's okay, it's working fine. It's taking out current. It's one more version of this power supply. If I remember something with OJ, but I'm not sure about the model. Something more, this output is saying max six amps. Okay, that's kind of a lie because this is connected straight here. So you should have 30 amps even on that connector. But otherwise it's, uh, it's okay. Good, it's just a simple modification. 
So see you later. Before I go, okay, let me draw quickly the schematic. Just quick, okay? So you have the plus, okay? The plus, the plus wire. And you have the minus. The minus is going straight to the fan. Uh, how is the fan? Fan. Okay, fan. Okay, plus is coming to that mechanical thingy, mechanical sensor. Okay. So that's the circuit. What we did, we had a transistor. Uh, we had an NPN transistor with the emitter connected here on the output here and the collector here at the plus. Okay, this is the emitter has a output error uh, arrow. How can I do it? No, you can't, I can't really do it. So this is the emitter. This is the collector and this is the base. Now the base is coming to an adjustable resistor, like how I said. Okay, so this adjustable resistor, the ground, the minus, I mean one side is to the minus, yeah? And one side is to the plus, yeah, together with the collector. That's all what you have to do, okay? That's all what you have to do. Obviously, when the things are getting hot, the, the switch will bypass the transistor. Now, to choose a, to pick up a transistors, we can go on eBay. NPN transistor. Let's see if we can find something solid. Those are good, but are hard to be soldered. I mean, those are good. I mean, you need one, yeah? No, this one. This one is fantastic. So this one is same like my one. So you can buy this one, which is like two pounds or something, yeah? And it will do the job. Something else, tip one, two, two. This is Darlington. Probably it's even better. Yeah, so if, if you buy this, it's a one idea better. I mean, it's not... It, uh, how can I say it? You know, with the schematic, we can uh, actually complicate a little bit more the schematic and add here a transistor and a Darlington configuration, or you can buy a Darlington straight away. I don't think it's the case. The fan is taking, I checked the fan, a full speed is taking like 200 milliamps. Okay, something more. I don't know this. This is NPN. No, you know what? Just stick with that one. It's not even point searching. Yeah? This one, it will do the job. Oh, sorry, you can buy two for this kind of price. Yeah, so this one will do the job. So if you buy this and you buy a 4.7 kilo... Adjustable... Resistor. <clears throat> yeah, you can buy something like that. You see, this one, you can actually have a thing to adjust it. And no point buying this, no point. You can buy something like that, yeah? You can buy something like that. But probably I will choose to buy something like that. This is too big, no point. This is again, it's too big. I mean, you can, you know what you can do? You can stick it to the case. So you can take something like that, make a hole in the case. And you have obviously you have the three pins and you can adjust, you can adjust this from outside of the case. So you can do something like that. If not, just, you know, just buy something like that and it will do the job. Oh, this is the price for five of this. Well, okay. So I'll stop now. It's just, you know, it's just, it's, 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 
is the modification to make that power supply perfect, like perfect, like silence. I mean, it's there, yeah? I can't even hear the fan, but I know the fan is spinning and it's taking the hot air out. Compared with before, actually, the, 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 the power supply, it will get burning hot, and only on that point, the fan, it will start spinning at full speed, probably like from 10, 15 minutes, till everything will cool down, and then the fan will stop like to zero. Kind of pointless. I, I don't understand why a manufacturer, it will do something like that. Wow, look, look, but this interference was not here before. Wow, look what is here. Insane. And 20 meters. 20 meters is still fine. It's something here on my area, but it's not here somewhere in, uh, in the neighborhood. And sometimes I have this kind of interference. And it's not much what I can do. That's the problem. Let me switch to antenna B. Yeah, so the interference are from outside. So on my SDR, I have... Uh, I can't really show you right now. So I have the three antenna input. So one is from the big antenna, main antenna. That's antenna C. Then on antenna B, I have here inside a small antenna, like, you know, like any antenna. And when you have an interference, yeah, like on this case, so now I'm, I'm, I'm using the antenna which is here, which is that side, yeah, yeah, connected on the, on the SDR. So now I know for sure the interference as are not from inside of my house, yeah, because are there only when I connect the outside antenna. But pretty insane. Well, yeah. What you can do? Should I go and hunt the neighbor which uh, has probably a TV plasma, a plasma TV, which is doing the interference? Pretty sad. Okay, I will stop now. That was the idea of the video. Just with the power supply, just to make that power supply perfect. Okay? So, uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.